Has pride ever made you do something foolish? Someone dared you to jump off the top of the jungle gym, and you did, because of pride, and you broke your arm? We all at times let pride get the better of us, and that is sinful of us. And it usually leads to bad things, like broken arms, or hurt feelings, or other trouble. As the Bible says, pride goeth before the fall. We're going to hear today about the 11th king of Israel and prideful things he did. They were very foolish, and they did lead to his fall. But he did them anyway because of his pride. Amaziah was the 11th king of Israel. It happened that he went to war against Edom. He had an army of 300,000 men. But he didn't know if it would be enough, so he hired 100,000 men from northern Israel. But a prophet of the Lord came to Amaziah and told him to not let the army of Israel go with him. Because God was not with northern Israel, they worshipped Baal and wouldn't follow the Lord. Also, Amaziah didn't need them to win. Amaziah shouldn't doubt that God would give them victory over their enemies if they trusted in God. The prophet said, For God has power to help or to cast down. Amaziah listened and took courage and sent the 100,000 soldiers from northern Israel away and went to war with Edom. And God gave him victory. He won. Amaziah destroyed their army and took their valuables. But in his pride, he did something very foolish. He took the idols that Edom had worshipped and set them up and worshipped them as God. In his pride, he forgot that the Lord alone was God and that the Lord had given him victory over Edom. God was very angry at what Amaziah did and sent a prophet. The prophet said to Amaziah, Why have you sought the gods of the people? which could not rescue their own people from your hand. Amaziah in pride would not back down, even from the prophet's warning from the Lord. He in fact doubled down, which means became more prideful. Amaziah didn't like having his foolishness pointed out to him. He didn't like having his sins pointed out to him. So Amaziah shouted for the prophet to stop talking, or Amaziah would have the prophet killed. The prophet responded that God would destroy Amaziah, because Amaziah had not listened to the Lord and repented of his foolish pride. Soon after, Amaziah decided to go to war against northern Israel. After his victory over the Edomites, he was feeling like a great warrior. Amaziah had forgotten that it was God who had given him victory over Edom. The king of northern Israel even warned him that he was being foolish and prideful. The king of northern Israel said, Indeed, you say that you have defeated the Edomites, and your heart is lifted up to boast. Stay at home now. Why should you meddle with trouble that you should fall, you and Judah with you? But Amaziah would not listen because of his pride. And God let them go and be badly defeated by northern Israel, because Amaziah and Judah had set up the idols of Edom and worshipped them. Truly, pride went before the fall of Amaziah. His pride was sinful, and it made him do Foolish things like set up idols as gods, and foolish things like go out and attack Israel. And yet, even then, he wouldn't repent of his pride and idolatry. What a lesson to us. We are all susceptible to the sin of pride. We have all done foolish things because of pride. We have all in pride, like Amaziah, gotten angry at those who pointed out our sin. We need to learn to repent of our pride because it leads to our fall. Pride can lead to big earthly problems, and even worse, eternal problems. So instead of being prideful, we need to be contrite. Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and save such as have a contrite spirit. This is our passage of the week. Even though we have all done sinful and prideful and foolish things, God, for Jesus' sake, forgives and saves. We need to have a contrite heart, meaning a heart that instead of being prideful, repents of our sins and trusts in Jesus. So say the passage with me. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. The catechism for the week is the first article, which speaks of God the Father and Him being our creator and preserver. The first article goes, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. What does this mean? I believe that God has made me and all creatures, that he has given me my body and soul, eyes, ears, and all my limbs, my mind and all my senses, and still preserves them. 
And I believe that he still preserves me by richly and daily providing clothing and shoes, meat and drink, house and home, wife and children, fields, cattle, and all my goods, and all I need to support this body and life. God also preserves me by protecting me from all danger and guarding me from all evil. All this God does only because he is my good and merciful Father in heaven, and not because I have earned or deserved it. For all this, I ought to thank, praise, serve, and obey him. This is most certainly true.